Russia is home to more than 180 different ethnic groups, with Slavic Russians being by far the most dominant, making up 80% of the population. The second most dominant group are the Tartars, who make up 4%, and within this Tartar group there are three main subgroups. The Volga Tartars, the Crimean Tartars, and the Siberian Tartars, the last of whom are indigenous to Tobolsk and the subject of the museum. Historically, the Siberian Tartars lived on the steppes of North Asia and were distinct from the Russians, first, by their Mongol and Turkic ancestry, second, their Turkic language, written at the time in Arabic script, and third, their mix of shamanistic and Islamic belief. Famed for their hunting and selling of fur, they were also skilled in embroidery and masters of the bow and arrow. But in the 1500s, Tsar Ivan the Terrible began expanding his Russian territory and recruiting a military tribe known as the Cossacks. Russia defeated the Siberian Tartars in 1582, establishing Tobolsk as the new capital of the region. Russia then continued advancing east as European firearms and disease wiped out indigenous groups. It would take 60 years for Russia to reach the Pacific Ocean and a further 100 years to sail beyond Siberia into Alaska, completing their eastern exploration. Today, Russia's remarkable Siberian conquest has been likened to the European colonization of North America, and the Cossack leader who defeated the Siberian Tatars, Yermak Timofeyevich, is regarded by some as Russia's Christopher Columbus. Indeed, Tobolsk remembers Yermak with a statue standing pride of place at the entrance of this museum, and also with a monument overlooking the town. As for the Siberian Tatars, they, along with the 180 plus ethnic minorities that make up 20% of Russia's population, have helped create the often overlooked heterogeneous cultural makeup of modern day Russia.